Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four between our sixth and seventh years of homeschooling. We will have a sixth and a second grader this coming year. Today, I wanted to talk with you about IQ Weather, a weather science unit study. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And this is um, a deep dive, kind of an in-depth look at a new offering from Timberdoodle who gave me the opportunity to review this and I am thankful. So huge thanks to the people over at Timberdoodle. But IQ Weather is a video-based, you guys know, that's my sweet spot, a video-based weather study. Now. I do and I am using this as a unit study, but you could easily, easily flush this out to be a full year's worth of activities. Now, let me explain that. First of all, we're using it as kind of like a summer fun unit study because, well, where we live, we get some extreme weather, okay? Like, for example, right now, record-setting heat. Um, we get hurricanes and we get tornadoes and not all that long ago, we had a catastrophic freeze. So. It is always one of those things that comes up in our daily lives because we live in a place that gets some pretty extreme weather, I wouldn't say patterns, events, because it's not a pattern and it happened more than once, but weather events. So we always do have an eye on the weather. We've had some amazing opportunities. Uh, recently, we got to go out and tour some of the aircraft that actually head into hurricanes. And so this is something meteorology, the study of weather that does come up a lot for us here in our area, but also has come up a lot for us recently. So when I saw the opportunity to review IQ weather, I was like, oh, video-based science, please. Yes, thank you. And so here we are. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, IQ weather is video-based weather. Now, what does that mean? They offer 20 video lessons, and I'm gonna pop over and I'll show you their website here in just a minute, but 20 video lessons that are like entirely self-contained, which I love it, I love it. There is a less than 10 minute video, so it's like short and sweet. You guys know I love that too, because some of them go in so long. So there are 20 lessons, uh, which start with everything from, you know, what is weather, weather versus climate, and goes all the way, like, why do we need to study weather? What is that called? How solar weather and space weather can impact our weather. It covers the physics and the geography and the geology and the astronomy, all of the things that go into studying weather and how that's all interconnected. Now, this entire video course, I believe retails for $149. I'm using it with both kids, but there are 20 lessons, video lessons, that then have a teacher's resources button and everything is right on the website. I'll show you in just a minute. A teacher's resources button, which gives you a bit more information with hyperlinks to other things that you can check out. So you can really deep dive this and make each lesson a full week if you want to. You absolutely can. I just let the kids right now, you know what, I'll circle back to how we're using it. But you can easily make this as much or as little as you want to. It's fully customizable in that sense. There are uh, more student resources, which again, take them to other sites like the National Weather Service or other stories about meteorology and its foundings, things like that. There's also a quiz, a little 10 question quiz, multiple choice right in line in the website that grades it then for you. So you don't have to really do anything. Your kids can actually do pretty much all of this on their own, which I think is pretty amazing. So there's 20 lessons, but then there are four video experiments. So kind of bigger experiments that we're gonna watch and talk about what happens. And then four video experiments of you at home, things you can reproduce at home. So you really can get through 28 weeks of study here, which you could, you know, that's a full school year if you choose to make it that way. I like that on the experiments, when you click on them, it tells you which lessons it corresponds to, which I personally love because it doesn't leave you guessing on which one this is supposed to go to or what's supposed to happen. But this could easily be tailored down to how we are using it or tailored, scaled up to be like a full year science curriculum. We are using it with multiple kids. So again, that's more bang for your buck there. 
Now let me explain how we're using it. We are using it as a fun summer study. My kids love to watch things when they kind of are waking up and eating breakfast. That's how they like to start their day. I like that to be something educational, which is when we use a lot of our video based stuff because it kind of checks my box of being worthwhile and checks their box of getting to kind of zone out and stare at a screen because Lord knows everybody loves a screen, right? Mm hmm. So they will watch the video and then talk amongst themselves and we'll click on some of the links and then we'll do the little test. And that is how my girls are using this. It's been really fun addition to our summer. Um, we haven't been using it kind of consistently. It's been a little bit more sporadic. So I do have it on our fall schedule if we are still working through it once we get there. Now, how do I feel about this? I feel like it's an amazing program. I think for the cost, the amount of quality that went into to the production of the, um, the experiments and the videos. The videos are very engaging. It is very well put together. As somebody who edits videos and does this kind of thing, I really appreciate the amount of effort that went into this. I think it is a good value based on the production quality alone. I like that they have hyperlinked to other things. I did notice, I think it was the first or second study, some of the hyperlinks don't, be, they've got like four or five each lesson. Some of them, those links are still no longer live, but there's still plenty of other ones to supplement with that. And that's one of those things that, I mean, it's hard to kind of stay on the internet always being active all the time. So I can really understand how, you know, if they're periodically going through that, they're, they're not going to get, you know, there's going to be times when those links don't work. So I fully understand that. I don't think it's negative in any way. It just is kind of a byproduct of, of hyperlinking to other things on the internet, right? Those are a, a little bit beyond your control. So I do understand that. Um, let's see. I like that it is the length that it is because I think, like I said, it's easily a unit study in the way that we're using it or easily scaled up if you've got kids who are deep into weather. Um, ideal age, I would say maybe like mid elementary, I think would be really good for this, like maybe second to fifth would be like the ideal spot for this. I personally like that my kids can use this all on their own because it is all in line and like kind of straight in the platform which now is a really good time for me to hop over and, and show that to you. Okay, guys, here is the IQ Weather website. As you can see, it's got a list of what all is included on the left-hand side. And then it tells you the companies that they've partnered with across the bottom. Right on their website, you can see Kathy Duffy reviews, all of the things that are included, certificate of completion. Once you enter the login, like the user area, you can see the lessons across the top. I love that this is all right in line. So we can click on the video, we can have the teacher resources, we can have the quiz. It is all right in line, right on the same page, right on their website, makes it so user friendly, which sometimes can get a little complicated. Now, when you click on the teacher resources hyperlink, it takes you over to these kind of like Google PDFs. And right here, it gives you all of the information that you need as far as being a teacher's guide and a teacher's resource you can scroll down and it's got, it's more than one page each of teacher resources and student resources. Um, but when you scroll down, it has the hyperlinks that take you to other videos, other resources, other things like that, which is so cool. Uh, there you go, you can see that. And then it tells you like which standards it aligns to. Now here's the lessons resources. And again, you can like go through the lesson plan, discussion questions, scroll down and it has those hyperlinks, which I think is just so cool. And I love that everything is just right in line on their website, which again, so user-friendly, so awesome. Here, it takes you right to the Weather Prediction Center, which is probably not something you're normally looking up on your own, but they've got it hyperlinked and takes you right to it. Again, love, love, love the format, love the layout. I like how um, in-depth it is. I like the possibility that we're making it you know, smaller bite size unit study or bigger full weather study, weather science for an entire year. I mean, you could easily, easily hunker down and nose down into this and make it as much or as little as you want to and really go down some of those paths. Now here's the quiz again, right in line, love it. And you click start, you answer the questions, it grades it for you so the kids can do it really all on their own, which for me is hugely valuable. Guys, 
I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I do have the link from Timber Doodle right on down in my description box. Huge shout out to them for giving us the opportunity to review uh, IQ Weather. I think it's amazing. I, you guys know I like it when we can find any kind of science resources because, you know, you know, you know, you know, if you know, you know. Um, so with that, huge shout out to them. Thank you so much again. I like it. I do like it a lot. I think it's really fun. If you're looking for something, a lot of people do unit studies as kind of their whole science. So this could be a wonderful addition and you could easily get through this in, uh, you know, you again, 20 weeks, 28 weeks, or as little as, you know, three, four weeks and get a really solid understanding of weather as a whole. So I love it. Love the production quality. And I think the value, especially since you can use it as a group study is wonderful. So yeah, I think that's it. Bye guys.